If you have email links on your website, you probably want to track when visitors click them. In this video, I will explain how to do this with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Here I have a demo page and one of these two links is related to an email. So if I click this and then if I had, for example, Outlook configured, then it would open a window for me to start typing the content of the email. Now, if I do the right click on this email link and click inspect, you will see that the email link starts with mail to and colon. So what we will do here is basically to send an event to Google Analytics 4 every time a link is clicked and that link URL starts with mail to. So let's go to Google Tag Manager. Here I have a Google Tag Manager container and let's go to triggers. This GTM container is already installed on my demo website. So in this case, it should be installed on your site. Then click new, trigger configuration, and then select just links. Here we need to switch to some link clicks and then we need to select click URL. If you don't see the click URL option right here, click choose built-in variable and then select click URL. Then let's switch from contains and we can use starts with, and then we enter mail to like that. And then finally, let's name this trigger. For example, link click email link and click save. Then let's create a tag. In this video, I assume that you have already installed Google Analytics 4 on the website. Therefore, you have a configuration tag. If not, then take a look at the description of this video where I explain how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. So after you watch that video and after you have created a GA4 configuration tag, then go to Tags, click New, and let's create an event tag that will send the mail to you link click event to GA4. So let's click new, tag configuration, and then select GA4 event. Here in the configuration tag field, select your existing config tag, and then we can enter the event name. Here you can come up with any event that you want, but you should follow the naming convention of GA4, which means that event names should be all lowercase and they should be using underscores instead of spaces. So for example, I will name this like that, mail to link click. Then we want to see in the reports, what were those link clicks? What was their text or what was the URL? That's why we can send additional parameters and Google Analytics 4 can recognize some of them and they will be available in reports as dimensions. So one of them is link URL and the other one is link text named exactly like that. You could also enter other like link ID if you have that data or link classes that might also work. But in my case, I will be using these two. And then we need to enter the values. So Google Tag Manager, when the link is clicked, it can fetch the URL of the link and also the text. That can be done with two variables. One is click URL and the other one is click text. So click the insert variable button here. First, I will be working with link URL. So I will click here and I will select click URL. Again, if you don't see it, then select built ins and then find click URL there. And we have inserted the variable. Now let's do the same for the link text and we will be looking for the click text variable. So I will click here and I will select click text. Then in the triggering, click anywhere and select link click email link. Let's name this event tag. I usually name them like that. And the name of the tag ends with the actual name of the event like that. Click save. Now let's test if this is working properly. Click preview in the top right corner and then enter the URL of the page where you want to test those mail to you link clicks. Click connect. Now I see that the tag assistant has connected and let's click this link. Then just for testing purposes, I will also click, let's say this one or this one, just to make sure that the tag fires only on the email link and not on other links. So once I do that, I see a bunch of link clicks. So you might see duplicates because one link click is coming from Google Tag Manager and the other one is coming from the enhanced measurement of GA4, which is related to things like outbound clicks or file downloads. However, don't worry because on this link click, our 
tag fired because this came from Google Tag Manager. And on this one, it did not fire, but it was not supposed to fire as a duplicate because this link click is visible because of how GA4 event tracking works. So don't worry. So this is where I clicked the email link. And then on all other events, I was clicking other links. So the tags did not fire, which is correct. Now let's go and check if Google Analytics 4 has received that mail to link click event. Let's go to GE4, then go to admin, and then keep looking for the debug view. It will look something like this in the middle column. So once you click it, one of the events that you will see is mail to link click. And if I click it, I see link text and link URL. So far so good, everything is working. And now I would need to publish the changes, which means that this container setup would go live to all my website visitors. And I would start tracking those mail to link clicks of the visitors as well. And now the final step of this video is to learn where can we find that mail to link click data in the reports of Google Analytics 4. So first of all, GE4 requires more time to process the data. You will need to wait for at least 24 hours until you start seeing something in the reports. And the first place where you will see the mail to link click events is here. You can go to reports and then keep looking for a report that mentions something about events. The thing about GE4 is that people can customize their reports, what they see right here. So in my case, I see these, but in your case, you might see different names, but just keep expanding them until you find something related to events and click here. And then one of the events that you will see right here will be mail to link click. I don't see it yet because 24 hours have not passed yet. But if I checked this report tomorrow, I would see that data somewhere in the list. If you don't see it on the first page, you can switch to the next page. Maybe you will find that data there. Now, if you want to see what kind of links were clicked right now, when I'm recording this video, you cannot see that data easily right here, because if you click the plus here and look for link URL, you will not find it. But of course you can try it because GA4 is constantly updated. So maybe if you go here and you enter link URL, maybe you will find it. And then if you add it, you would see another column where different values of your email links would be displayed. But right now, if you want to build a report where you list all different link URL values, then you could go to explore, click blank, and then do the following. In the dimensions, click plus and add two dimensions. One is event name and the other one is link URL. Click the checkbox and click import. In the metrics, you can click plus and add some metrics that you need. For example, event count. This will show how many times each link was clicked. And you can also include, let's say, total users, which will show how many users did click those email links on your site. So once you add them, click import, and now you can add those dimensions and metrics to the report. So first you can double click on link URL, it will be added here. And then you can add event count and total users by double clicking them and they will be added right here. However, as you can see, it includes all of the link click events, not only mail to link clicks. So you would need to add an additional filter and narrow down the report only to the mail to link click event. So you would need to click on filters and then select event name. And then it must exactly match mail to link click. I think it was named like that. Let me check in the Google Tag Manager. And yes, mail to underscore link underscore click. So I exactly entered it right here. And then I click apply. In my case, the report will show no data because again, 24 hours have not passed. But if I checked this report tomorrow, I would see the first column that would have the email address and then the other two columns would show the number of events and the number of users. So for example, the report could look something like this. And that's how you can track email links on your website with Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. 
Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.